Hello everybody and welcome back to the Modded Character Showcase. We just unlocked something apparently by mo moving into the save file. But anyways, we're going to jump in this time once again as little old Abel and his kidney bean. Uh, we're jumping on in and seeing what we can get done. This guy is quite fun. I I, I like the idea behind this guy being a bit interesting with, uh, with being able to charm enemies to gain damage. I think... The, do you know what, we should push Pop Servant. I think that um, this character is one of the ones that just ridiculously benefits from specific items. So getting lucky is like kind of a big part of this character's power. If if you want to play to the strength of his gimmick. Which, to be honest, isn't necessary, I don't think. Like, obviously you want to play to the strength of the gimmick because of the character. But you don't actually have to. Um, Libra is weird, but I'll take it. Because, um... That means we'll be getting all stats up. Also, I just wanted the six of everything, which is pretty useful. Uh, we've got a library here, which would obviously overrate our kidney beam, which wouldn't be ideal. I kind of wish our kidney beam was on our pocket active rather than there. But what have we got here? Coloring book turns enemies into random champions and on new spawns purgatory. Um, amplifies uh, or changes book effects. Um, yeah, that, that one doesn't even have an effect. It says right there. Right, unfortunate. Unfortunate. I mean, at least it's uh, it's two books on the roster. Did I pick both books up? I need to make sure to pick them both up at least. Try and get that book worm. But yeah, uh, you can tell I'm tired today because um, I woke up and I was like, Let let's just do a Isaac recording right off the bat. Why not? And one of the first things I did was I um, started recording only to realize I didn't have OBS open. <laughs> So I wasn't recording anything. I was just talking to myself. Um, which is partially what recording is anyways. Ooh, taking damage to a chance to spawn a mini Isaac. Okay, that works well for our um, for our character here, I think. Libra is one of those items that I feel like it gets a bad rap. It's always had a bit of a bad rap. It's it's never been an amazing item, but it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, got another item room here. Double tap to trigger the nerve pinch. You take fake damage and gain a permanent speed down uh, when that happens. However, there is an 80% chance to activate your active item for free, even if it's uncharged. You can pinch your nerve randomly uh, by walking too much without triggering an active item. No. <laughs> that seems off. I don't want that. I don't even remotely want that. That sounds pretty tragic. Nerve pinch. I don't want speed downs, and I really don't need to be using my active, uh, like, an extra amount. But yeah, so far, I'm, I'm quite liking having Libra here. Oh, do you know what would be good, though, if I could not keep getting myself hit by stupid stuff? I've been hit by far too much stupid stuff thus far. Come on, guys, die. Okay, there you go. Just gotta try and kill the charmed ones, at least. You could try and do that where you, like, charm them and kill them at the same time. Oh, I didn't get a charge there. Apparently I used it right after the room ended. My bad. And what are you? Oh, God. No, thank you, you. Um, we'll check out the shop here since it's free to go in. And the D3 is pretty good. I'm actually surprised the D3 is in the shop, to be honest. I didn't think that was a, a shop item that you'd see. Secret room. I'm still a little unsure on it. Well, there's an XL floor to start with, so... I guess it could be here. Let me just uh, chickadee check this out. Yeah, it's almost definitely here. And we get ourselves the Eye of Greed, which I think is pretty good. Um, I think Eye of Greed is decent. I could re-roll it and, and gamble for something better. Do I do I gamble on this? Eye of Greed's like okay. Let, let's oops, I just minimized my game. Sorry. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble. And I'm very, very disappointed that I gambled because I got an active item. Why did I? Why did I gamble? Why did I gamble? I was like, yeah, we, there's, there's, there's plenty of better um, secret room things that we could get out of this. Oh no, no. Apparently, there is not. Anyways, let's continue on here. At least you can charm the bosses for a little while. It doesn't really do much, especially on a boss that is fighting against something that's fireproof. Doesn't really work. But yeah, we're not going to gain a lot of stats in these rooms. And I'm hoping that we can get some boss items that work pretty well for Libra, like a big old speed up. 
Or even a big old range up. Anything like that would be good. Anything that's going to divvy up nicely. Come on, my mini Isaac friends. That is not really what I was looking for, but thank you regardless. Okay. What happens with these two now? Okay, yeah. I was thinking that they're just going to walk into each other and kill each other. And they very much are. And this is speed and damage. Very nice. Uh, so I guess we're out of here. Unfortunately, a lot and a lot left behind. Like, way too much left behind to be, to be happy with how that floor went. An item room, a secret room item, and two books all, all left behind. But what can you do, I guess? What can you do? Oh, Lord. Lost my devil deal straight away. I'm not going to fret about it. As long as we don't die, I'm, I'm reasonably happy. I mean, apparently I'm determined to die because I just keep walking into things. <sighs> Why? Why is it not a pocket active? Man, this is brutal. It really should be a pocket active. But there is a there is a command you can do to make your active into a pocket active. Maybe I should just do that and make it myself because I really believe it should be. Because um, it's, it's not a very strong active. Obviously, I realize it's part of this main character's gimmick. But I feel like characters that have interesting gimmicks, you really don't want to be ever setting their, uh, their gimmick active as their main active because it just, it hard limits the character because there's just, you can't take actives anymore if you want to play with their gimmick at all. You have to just say no to every active, which is a real shame because, I mean, actives are fun, but also just so many item rooms and stuff can be wasted because you just don't get what you need in terms of uh, item rooms. Oh, we've got one of these. Hello. Okay, good, good. We got ourselves random horse pill. That's a ver, and that's a shot speed, which isn't an all stat, so surprisingly, I thought it would be. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, look down. That's what it is what it is. And what was this? Consumes our. Uh, Oh, uh, just it just grants um grants us Dr. Fee as I guess we can use that if we need bomb slash in a boss room. Get some extra damage going. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty happy with how this is going so far. Despite all the uh all the random loss. Ooh, what is this? It's another active. Spawns a hog that wanders towards the closest enemy in the room after five seconds explodes with a gigabomb explosion. That sounds kind of good. I wish I could have it. What a shame. Right. Ah, right as they went invincible, that was kind of stupid of me. It's okay. It kind of worked out in the end. Okay, I probably should have waited on that. Oh my god, there's so many of these guys. What the hell? The drip drop fellas. There's too many drip drops. Right, let's just go straight for the boss here. That's probably better, but I'm sticking with my on-theme trinket instead. You kill all of those, buddy. You kill all of those. It should also give you a stat upgrade for every enemy that, you, that your charmed enemy kills. That'd be quite nice. Not just charmed enemies that are killed, but if your charm enemy does your bidding, you should get stats for that as well. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, this is a, an alarming amount of fellas. I really don't care about Devil Deal at this point. Good, good. And tears plus shot speed. Lovely. Um, but there's still a good bit more to see on this floor. Let's let's not let's not dip straight away. I'm liking where our stats are looking at the minute, and I think I think our stats decay slower now that we have Libra. I'm not entirely sure about that. That kind of looks to be the case, maybe. Right. <laughs> kind of wait for these. I was going to say wait for these to get close to each other before I use my kidney beam, but honestly, they're not even remotely trying to get close to each other, so I'm just going to use it. I'm going to try and kill him to get the stat boost. Yeah. Not too bad. Oh my god, he's a, he's a champion. He's big. He's very big. Yeah, what do you guys think of Abel so far? I'm, I'm guessing probably most people are in the same camp as me of thinking 
The kidney bean should be inactive. I also, I, I, I do wish he had like a base chance, even if it's very, very small, to fire charming tears. Just to make it like in longer rooms, not rely so heavily on the active. Um, it'd be quite nice to see. That's what we like to see. You can get certain rooms where you play it just right and get like a ton of stats. Not that the stats matter too much right now. Ooh, I do like the Naga Viper. A little bit of a shame that our um, that our look is so poor right now. Oh, we got another library that's at least Bookworm. Damn, these guys are chunky. Oh my god. I'm stressing out right now. There's too much going on. I'm going to bomb this guy. It's a little bit of a waste of a bomb, but with him being a champion, I just, I can't, I don't want to deal with so many champions. Especially when there's this dude, like, spreading bubbles around everywhere. You're making things way more annoying than they have to be, good sir. Far more annoying than they have to be. And what we've got going on in here. So, another two books. Obviously, Book of Shadows is fine. And then, Read It and Weep, Book of Sorrow. There's Bookworm. Book of Sorrow. I mean, it gave us a ton of stats. But I don't actually know what it does. Much going on here? No, no, no. Okay, I'm kind of glad we came back here. At least we got Bookworm. It's a pretty interesting synergy to, uh, synergy, you know what I mean, transformation to have. I'll check this out as well. Honestly, it's probably worth a few keys to get some extra bombs. And I'll play you once and see what's what. What card is that? Empress and Hermit. Don't think I care for that. Queen of Clubs is good enough for me for now. We're able to do a good bit with it. But yeah, I apologize if the commentary is a little bit lacking. I am uh, I am a bit tired. I've been trying to do my episodes earlier in the morning recently. Um, just because I've been getting up earlier to like go to the gym and stuff. So I want to try and get them a little bit sort of, not out of the way, but kind of get a few of them done earlier in the day so that like I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day and it's already sort of ready and out of the way. Um, I think that's kind of the best way to do it. But we'll, we'll see as we go forward. I don't think anyone's sort of had any bad experiences from my commentary being really bad or anything. I think I think it's just a little more relaxed, a little, a little less energetic than it might be sometimes. Uh, which I, th I don't think is a particularly bad thing. Like, sometimes those videos can be quite enjoyable too. And it's also, it can be quite nice for me. Get your charm, that's fine. Yeah, also as well, like, trinket-wise, starting with uh, Gigantabean could be interesting. Although I don't know if that would be a, maybe a bit too powerful. Um, but having... A way to extend the distance. Oh, dude. I need some soul hearts, like, so badly. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm losing my devil and angel deals quite, quite frequently at the moment. Not that that's a massive problem for this guy. I think we're, we're, we're doing fine without him, but... Might be nice to, uh, interject those back into our run. I really shouldn't have taken that. was a bit of a waste. Oh, dude. Those, uh, explosive fires... Doing us some good. And that was a hell of a lot of stats to gain there as well. Lovely. Lovely. And they, yeah, the stats are lasting a good while. They're lasting a good while. We can sort of keep it going. But yeah, just the range just always feels a little bit too low sometimes. Calm down, you. Again, just straight for the boss while I've got the stats rolling. Especially we've got the Naga Viper firing off shots on occasion. I'm not getting Mini Isaacs anywhere near as much as I hope I would, which is a shame. That's good. And we've got a Soul Heart here, which could protect us on the next floor. I like that. I love it. I do want some more of it. Right. Pretty good, uh, pretty good set of stuff here. But yeah, Libra so far. Haven't minded it at all. Not felt, not felt bad. Okay, ran that right into him. High Priestess, no thank you. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm keeping my Queen of Clubs for, but I'm still holding on to it just in case. And do you want to run into that Naga fire? No, there's an item in here apparently. The Wafer is just chilling in here. Okay. I will certainly take a Wafer for two bombs. Thank you. 
we like to see that. That's that's pretty it's pretty awesome. Random item in a room is already like a top tier result. But when it's the wafer, ooh baby. Oh, rooms like this are the best. Where you can just charm and destroy the entire room. A uh, champion belt would be rather lovely. Um, don't know if we're going to get it. I was mainly looking for a um, soul heart there, but... We've got a tinted rock up there as well. Ooh, double soul heart. Okay, so we might get a, a, a devil deal on the next floor. Although I don't know if I'm going to take it, I'll see. Item room. A hey, Hot Wheels ain't bad. It's not great. Ain't bad. I just, the, the only thing that I, that I have a problem with Hot Wheels is um, it's a little hard to push in the direction you actually want to push it. But it's sort of one of those items that it just exists. Oh, very stupid. It just kind of exists and it's nice that it exists. It just kind of bumbles around, sets things on fire, destroys rocks on occasion. I'm not going to particularly focus on it. Oh my lord. Do I want to walk into anything more? Luckily I've got the wafer so I only lost one soul heart of all of that mess up. But yes, yeah, so it's not always the easiest to use, but it's still good to have. Right, keep things going with our beam. You, go. you just gotta try and like walk into the heat of it and get as many as you can. Yeah, no thanks, lad. No thanks. There's some rooms. Like, unfortunately, this room's not very good for this, because I'm just going to have to... In fact, this is one of the rooms that I, like, absolutely hate. It's one of my worst rooms in the game. Like, without flight, it's just such an annoying room. It's, like, not that hard. It's just tedious. And, yeah, we didn't get to use any of our uh, active on the... Oh, my God, look at that. That room just literally ended itself. It was like, okay, I, I, I see the deal. I know what to do. Instantly, everyone commits suicide. Oh, really? Because they were underneath the ground, they didn't get charmed. I didn't realize that was going to be the case. That was a bit suck, suck, sucky. Uh, slick Spade. Booyah. I love Slick Spade. And Slick Spade actually does have charming tiers among the roster of tiers it can fire, so... This is a another way for us to now apply charm, which is really, really nice, of course. I'm going to use this here. Okay, apparently this is doing, like, absolutely fucking no damage. Okay, that finally. That was weird. It took way too many bombs to do any damage to him there. Pageant boy, unfortunately not good. We did get an angel deal, though, which I'm pretty happy about. We also got a soul coin, which gave us half a soul heart back. Lovely. Trisagian as well. Rather nice. Rather nice. Uh, we'll go look for a shop here, because we've got some good money. Um, yeah, I do like Trisagian. Trisagian, however you want to pronounce it. But yeah, I'm glad to have Slick Spade among these. I'm pretty sure Slick Spade still works with um, with like Tritagian and stuff. I don't think it'd stop it from working. Visually, obviously, it doesn't look like it is working, but I'm pretty sure it still is. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll crack these open. Vanilla Wafer doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. I've not seen any tier effects with Slick Spade as of yet, though, I will say. Which is a little worrisome. Trying to look out for different tier effects applying. It'd be very annoying if Trisagian has just completely negated Slick Spade com completely. That'd be pretty devastating. I mean, Trisagian's still really good, but still wouldn't be very happy with it. Ow, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Unfortunately, it's got to be you, hasn't it? It's got to be you. Midas Touch. Midas Touch is kind of an interesting idea, actually. Because we we do a charm to on, on hitting an enemy. Would have been good with Eye of Greed, but I turned that down, apparently, for some unknown reason. I can't hand. Stop wasting everyone's time. Okay, I'm taking a bit of bad damage here. It's not terrible though, we should be okay. Can't get into secret room. Shop was unfortunately valueless to us. It is what it is. 
Yeah, I think I think unfortunately Slick Spade is is being overwritten, which doesn't really make a, a right lot of sense. But I guess it's do it replaces tears, and because Trisagian isn't tears, it doesn't replace them or something like that. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe it does work, and I just haven't seen it happen yet. We'll keep an eye out. Oh, is he a? This guy's a contraband guy. Yeah, I could tell because he wasn't playing any animation. Oh wait, that, that guy's on fire. That guy's on fire. Oh wait, was that that that, that might have just been my uh, my Hot Wheels though. Yeah, these guys aren't aren't getting any tier effects on. That's 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 a real big bummer. That is. I was quite looking forward to Slick Spade being a pretty cool thing for us, and it's taken that that dream away from me. Charm in situations like that is so nice as well. It just eats up every enemy. And then these guys can be a little annoying. Little football heads. Nothing to worry about too much though. Easy. Not the sort of room we want because we can't really charm all the enemies. This this is the sort of room we want. Where it's super easy to just get in the middle and charm pretty much everything. Yet another shot. Oh really? Yet another boss fight? Of course. Who'd have thunk it? We don't really need the golden pennies in this case. I mean, we've got enough money that we're not even able to spend at the moment, so why I'd do anything to gain more money and lose luck, I don't know. That would be stupid. Extra penny, thank you. Probably should have waited until the end of this room, actually, because these little dudes would be far more valuable. Yeah, so we do we we freeze and charm them. That's it's kind of nice. Oh wait, vanilla wafer. Hmm. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We might have a bit of a synergy going on here. So if I come in here, I do that. It charms him, it freezes him. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I got hit twice. The whole point was not getting hit twice. That ruined my whole my whole theory. Basically, my theory is with vanilla wafer, I can get hit once for free in every room. Without it like impacting me at all, and so therefore, an interesting way to play would be to run into enemies. I'm gonna grab this. Would be to run into enemies um, on purpose to charm them. So I could do like this, and then if we watch the end of the room, oh, I didn't get the hit. Okay, maybe it's for every full heart of damage I take. Maybe I, I caught that a little wrong. Either way, it's working right now. Like, we're not having a, a super hard time with it. Do you know what would be quite good? Getting good old old bandage in the mix as well. Old bandage would help us do some stuff. Come on, item room. Where art thou? We've scoured the land. We must be close. Also, we're getting mini Isaacs for taking damage as well. It's kind of working out pretty well, to be honest. Um, Taurus. Yeah, Taurus is actually pretty good. I'll take Taurus. Um, because obviously it's going to be an all stats down, but it's going to be a, a scaling all stats up. Um, which is actually really good because it's going to take a very long time to hit maximum speed. So the invincibility won't even hit that regularly. But the good thing is, when it does hit, eventually, um, we'll get to turn everything into Midas Touch and charm everything, so it kind of works out pretty nicely for us, to be honest. We don't get that big of a speed down from taking it, um, and the actual speed up takes a long time to scale up, meaning that we just get a pretty interesting thing going on. If you're about to take Fatal Damage turn to China's health bar and convert into China's health bar, nah. Oh, it's a ferryman. Um, yeah, we've got enough money to play the ferryman. I don't know how... Um, viable we have the time with this. I do wish this ferryman animation was a little bit quicker. It's fine, but <laughs> he is a bit slow. We get an angel item if we manage to save all of our little ghosts here. So we've got to be somewhat safe about it. We can't go running into enemies in this uh, area. But 
we'll see. I, I, don't, I doubt we're going to get a success here, but we'll try. Ooh, double Empress is kind of interesting. Okay, nah. This, yeah, I knew that was going to hit it. Like, I could, that, that room was kind of horrible. I, I could just see that that was clearly going to hit him straight away. So this is all, this is all kind of pointless now. Can we just leave? Yeah. I should have taken the Emperor card, but I want to keep my Contraband. I know I get some consumables for doing the rest of the rooms, but eh, I don't need them. It's fine. I'm not going to waste my time. Yeah, once you get one ghost hit and you're not going to get the angel item, it's just like, eh, you're going to get a few bombs, maybe a few keys, but probably not much else that's going to be of use, so I'd rather just go. Right, anyways, let's make our way up to the boss and see what's what. See what's what. We do have a, a bunch of pennies down there. Ooh, is it? Is having the slowing shot good? Also, where'd my other trinket go? Where'd my stem cell trinket go? What the fuck? Uh, I had a stem cell trinket and it's just disappeared. I don't know where it went. Anyways, having slowed shots, I'm pretty sure is good for um, Trisagian. I don't know when to best use my active here. I'm trying to wait for like a lot of enemies to spawn, but doesn't always happen. Doesn't always happen. Guess that'll do. There we go, and then we'll take Polaroid. Oh wait, Polaroid? Ah, oh, okay, just I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Give. Let's see. Three, two, eight, and remove C, three, two, seven, I'm guessing it'll be. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Did that work? Yeah. Okay, so obviously I'm going for completion marks here. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to completely whiff it just because I made the wrong choice. Oh, mystery egg, really? Come, goddamn mystery egg. Ow. Magus, we don't really need Magus, do we? Got to remember we have um, we have Wafer, so we're a lot safer than normal here. We don't have to worry quite as much as we normally would. Good, ooh, good room. Good, good room. Oh, hello. What's going on here, then? So we we pay you out with whatever you want to pay out with. Hopefully an item. And then we can re-roll it. Yeah, okay. And then we can re-roll this into something potentially better. Common cold, no. Want for something charm-related. Soybean! Um... 5% chance to activate Butterbean Explosion on Contact. Um, eh. Spawns of Rotten Heart. A chance to tear to inflict long lasting poison. That's pretty good. I'm still going to keep rolling though. I'm gambling. Eh, do you know what? Technology is pretty good. Again, the overwrites Trisagian. Just a lot of dumb overwriting in this game that's kind of annoying. Like, does does having Trisagian right now do literally anything for us? Does it give, provide a stat boost or something? Or is it literally just a dead item now that's, that's doing nothing? I'm not sure, but I do like tech, so I'll take it. Oh, I should have waited to use my pop my active there. Could have got way more value out of just waiting. As long as I don't die, I don't take care about taking some bad damage here and there. I mean, this this is egregiously bad damage. Come on now. Yum was pretty good. 
What does it do for 30 seconds? What? 30 seconds, every red heart will grant a small permanent stat upgrade when picked up. A small... A small permanent stat upgrade, you say? I'm into that. Okay. Dealt with. Right. Permanent stat upgrades, might as well take some damage. Okay, this guy's gonna spawn all manner of creepy crawlies and, and boys around the room. Luckily, he wasn't too difficult at all. Okay, down we go. So far, kind of a weird run as this guy. I mean, we've played pretty badly overall, but I think having the wafers kind of saving our life a little bit. Uh, lots of batteries we don't need. Yeah, having the wafers kind of saving our life a little bit because we're uh, able to make up for the mistakes. And then having vanilla wafer on top of that is just... We've got a lot of get out of jail free cards right now. So to say. But... I do think that Libra is kind of carrying this run right now, which is something you can't normally say for something like Libra. Really? I could try and play the Saccharin, potentially. Not a bad idea. Charm ya. Kill ya. Ouch. Yeah, I guess if I get enough red hearts, like lying around. I guess probably I should have saved that um, that pill until this floor, the yum pill, just in case I got a sack room, but I wasn't really thinking that far ahead. I mean, at the minute, I'm uh, clearly not playing very well at all. Clearly not very well at all. We got so many dips, man. Having this like little dude here just creating dips constantly is kind of crazy. He's doing a fine job. Oh, we did end up finding the boss pretty quick here. Or at least finding the correct way to the boss, should I say. Oh ho ho, the Naga fires, man, they're so good. They're so good. These guys still blink for some reason. I need to fix the sprite on those. Installed incorrectly or something. Right, boss time. Not much else I can do to help this situation. I've just got to roll with the punches here. Just going to be a regular old boss fight. Get your little children out of here. There's some creep as well. It's... Oh, dude, what the fuck? That is rude. <laughs> yeah, that is very rude. The hell. You can see that my, my fire ray has gone ludicrous levels. from uh, Taurus. Taurus is actually a super good item for Libra. We're about to go invincible. And we've done Hush, so let's just go down. Yeah, definitely worried about my HP, but we, we t effectively have double the HP it looks like we have, so we don't need to be too worried. That's not to say I shouldn't be worried at all, though. Just got to keep on top of charming things to keep our stats going, because the stats have been pretty relevant so far with Libra. I think normally I wouldn't actually be that bothered. But considering we've got Libra, the stats are feeling way more important, because they're affecting everything, not just our damage. What do you do again? Oh, yeah, Brimstone. Okay, that, that, that works out just fine for me. Thank you. Good, sir. Hey, and there's a heart as well. That's all I've been looking for. Duct tape doesn't do much for us. In fact, shot speed doesn't do much for us at the moment. We've got shot speed on our uh, on our trinket, but yeah, now now that we've not got what we wanted in terms of uh, Tritagian, doesn't make any difference. Right, keep it moving. 
So, I, obviously, duct tape's not exactly better, but... It ain't worse. Oh, these two are charmed, but they don't know how to attack each other because they're underground, so... Not ideal. Can you not go underground, please, guys? I tried to get into running into my fires, but... Not really working. Oh, what's going on with these poops? Can I destroy these? No, not with the looks of things. Okay. Oh man, the damage I'm taking. The damage I'm taking right now is too much. Okay. Don't know how many of these enemies, like, charmed actually will attack other enemies and it, how much that helps us. Some of them it seems like they do, sometimes it seems like they don't. A bad bit of damage there. Don't exactly know what these guys do nowadays. They've been changed, but I don't know how. Uh, we're definitely going to need some more um, HP pickups dropping soon. That would be lovely. Oh, my charmed little pooter dude is gone as well. Oh no, where did he go? What will I ever do to find him? Yeah, the explosive fires do more than enough to take him out pretty quickly. Like I said, the longer in a room, the better it is for us, really. Ooh, okay. I'm kind of getting these guys now. These are enemies that I don't really know very well, because I, I never really give them a chance to shoot. Okay. Boss time. We've got four hits for the boss. I'm not uber confident. All right, three, two, one. Ah, way mistimed. Very, very mistimed. Oh, Lord. I think we're over here. I've not done very well, people. I've not done very well. Taurus is going to kick in soon. I'm on one hit left. Okay, well, that was scary. Uh, we're going to go down here and try and get a devil deal item that does something beautiful for us, but let's let's just not be too hopeful. I mean, empty vessel's kind of good for HP. But also, Johnny's knives are real good, too. Um, empty vessel... I'm going to gamble, I think. I'm going to heavy gamble. Just go empty vessel all the way. Just hope that empty vessel can carry us. Um, ah, oh, that was very confusing for me. Having charmed things in rooms like that is kind of awful. Um, eh, no. Again, should have waited for the spiders there to charm things. Oh well. We got Johnny's knives doing their thing though, herming around, zooming and booming. They do really good damage. I and mean, that's what the quality for. Get here, you. Nice. Hopefully we're just going the right way here and don't have to have too much trouble. I'm hoping we can find some HP along the way here as well, but... Not sure how likely that is. Take you a special death deal room where you must choose one out of two to four deals. Each deal requires you to give up one of your items for a new one. Deals may offer items from the Angel and Devil Pool or Custom Death Pool. I mean, I'm going to give that a go. Why not? Oh my god. Damage for Mystery Egg. 
Oh, just the one? Okay. I expect it to be more than just the one item. Or is it like multiple rooms? Nope, just the one. Very good one, though. Ah, I tried so hard to not get hit there. Did not pay off. Did not work out. Okay, come on, HP. You know you want to drop for me. You know you want to drop for me. The game's thinking about it. Also, stop giving me empty vessel invincibility right at the end of rooms. It's a bit rude. Right, okay. We're gonna have to start bombing these bad boys in, in the herps. Oh, there you go, baby. That extends our life so much. Putting blur at the bottom of the room. What, which, which G did this? What amazing person decided that should be the room? Okay, just just... No way I'm not get I'm getting out of this. Okay, I suppose I can sit over the rock. It's not that bad. These guys are too fast. Crack both of these open. I mean game kid's actually not bad. <laughs> Soul Heart definitely though. And honestly, yeah, I'm gonna take Game Kid. Alright, let's go here. I think I'm sort of stuck. I can at least use Game Kid to get out of a sticky situation. Off just to do some good damage. Yeah, let's use it now. Ah, I took damage right at the end of that. It's okay though, I bought that extra soul heart. I think we're good to go here. Looks like it. There you go, baby. There you go. We just got another win and a few more completion marks done. I hope you guys did enjoy. Ooh, spice has been unlocked. Um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.